Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our legacy challenge, my favorite let's play of the moment. If you guys missed last episode, we lost two of our sims. We lost our dog Moose and we also lost Zara. She died a lot faster than Max and April and everyone else did. So I think she probably had cancer or something like that that made her die quicker. Um, but other than that, we've just been working on our sim skills and yeah, that's it. I'm excited to get into this episode. So let's get to it. Okay guys, here we are back in the legacy household. Oh no, the pond babies are starving. Oh no. Where even are they? I don't see them anywhere. Oh great, Charlie's going through the bear phase. Uh, okay, it looks like they died already. That's unfortunate. <laughs> it's a nice, bright, sunny, super sunny. Oh, we're having a heat wave. It's a nice, uh, hot summer day. Ren, uh, let's see here. Spend more time. Ren is over here making some coffee oh, that sounds really good Aww. i gave her a new hair and some new outfits as well just because you guys said that you wanted her to have a makeover of some sort i didn't want to change her too much because i'm so attached to how she looks already i was gonna cut her hair like super super short and dye it like pink or something like that but i thought that would have been too much of a drastic change so yeah, um, I just put it like this for now. If you guys want me to cut it and like dye it, let me know. I'm sure she, someone who lives forever would get tired of the same hair color their whole life. So yeah, let me know. Um, so let's see here. Let's get her, can we upgrade the fridge at all? Upgrade, okay, we're almost there. She just needs to get level seven handiness skill to do the other one. I wish that tinker was still a thing i think that's in the sims 2 but yeah i wish that was still a thing that would be so cool we have plenty of common upgrade parts so why don't you come over here and let's do add bidet how exciting is that she can be like when olive gets home from work she can be like oh um i added a bidet to your toilet i hope you don't mind <laughs> Uh, Olive has 30 minutes free time. How should she spend it? Read blogs for career advice. I would never ever go to the gym on a work break, like ever. <clears throat> okay, so I gave her a little makeover too. I gave her some different outfits and a few different hairstyles. So yeah, there's that. So she needs to reach level three photography skill. I think I'm gonna get her to do we have a bookcase? All right, cool. So let's purchase a photo photography book. There you go. Good bean, read on that photography. This house suits her so much. I love the youthful vibe that it has. So cute. I'm glad you, that you guys liked it. Thanks for all the nice comments on it. It means a lot. Practice programming. Zara, I mean, Zara. Whoa, Ren. <laughs> that is so random of you. So you guys were telling me about the wishing well. Apparently, in the legacy rules, each sim is only allowed to have one wish. So I already broke that rule, so we can't wish anymore, and I'm really sad. There is a chance that when you wish at the wishing well that a child will get added to your household, but we didn't get that outcome, which really makes me sad, but it's all good. Another thing that I wanted to do was bring silas back to life with ambrosia but i checked the legacy rules and you can't even do that so yeah all of the things that i wanted to do we're not able to do they're like against the rules <laughs> that makes me so mad so i was thinking and for charlie like his storyline i was thinking he could live off the family money of course I don't want him to get a job, and I know that can, like, set us back in Legacy, but I think that um, maybe he could, like, do YouTube. Because um, that doesn't really require you to leave the house, so I think that would fit. And then 
I also think that he would throw a lot of parties. Um, I don't know why. Like, I just kind of get that feeling from him that he would just skate through life. Like, he's super smart, super good at things, but he just doesn't want to do any. Does that make sense? He just doesn't want to do anything. He only does it when, like, it's absolutely needed. So, I don't know. I don't know. Look, she's so cute. She's having coffee and she's reading her photography book. I love her. Come on, get that skill up. Thank you so much. Okay, what else do you have to do for work? Of course he swiped. Oh my god, he got promoted! Finally! Oh jeez, finally. That took you long enough, my dude. When do you... Oof, yeah, your time is almost up. You just needed one more promotion. I'm so annoyed. Look, there he is viewing the wagon again. Y'all. There's something weird about this kid. Hey, where's your homework at? Did you ditch it somewhere? I hate it when they do that. I hate it. Hey, look who's here. Oh, you guys. Hey, where'd you go? There you are. Okay, I downloaded a mod that you can have a baby with a ghost. <gasps> oh my god, it works. Oh my god, it works. It works. It works. It works. It works. It works. Bring Silas to life. What? No. I think that might be a mod too. Because I added a, um, I added a after death mod as well, so it's like easier to control, like what happens after your Sims die. I don't know. I, I just have a feeling I'm gonna need it at some point, so I downloaded it. Oh my gosh! Should we, should we have a kid with Silas, guys? I kind of, I don't know. It's like. I also downloaded a mod from Kawaii Stacy, and it's supposed to like let you be or let you um oh get artificially inseminated, but for some reason it's not showing up. Like the only thing that I can do is try for license. So I don't know. Maybe the mod is like out of date or something, or I just don't know how to use it. I don't know. Can we? Uh, no, we can't. Aww. You guys, I'm so tempted right now. We're doing it. We're doing it. I want to do it, so we're doing it. And, um... <sighs> Ren's gonna live forever, so I kind of feel like, uh... <gasps> she has plenty of opportunities to... Oh, the door's locked. Mmm. He's a ghost. He should be able... <laughs> to get in her house without uh, the door being unlocked, but okay. All right, let's try this again. Um, try for baby and coffin. Yeah. I can't believe we're doing this. Oh, I've had this in my mind for a really long time. This is the reason why I downloaded this mod. I just really want Ren to have a baby. And that's that. And if she gets a girlfriend, she can't have a kid unless she adopts. But that's the whole reason. I'm like super curious to see what Ren's kids are going to look like. So I want her to have one um, naturally. Yo, my boy. You're kind of pissing me off a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that emotional control. Maybe he can have negative emotions. How do we do this again? Do we shout forbidden words? Or is that from- is that manners? Yeah, that's manners. Destroying dollhouse- Ooh. Okay, Ren. How'd it go? Oh, she's on the swings. She's so happy, look. Oh my gosh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna need you to come over here and take a pregnancy test. If she's pregnant, I'm gonna be so stoked. All right, let's see it. Oh my God, there's no freaking... Ah! There's no wallpaper in here. Are you? No? Oh my God, she's not. Wait, are you? 
Oh my god, no! What are the chances of that? Can we try again? Is Silas still here? Let's try it um, in the shower. I haven't... Um, she's on the swings again. Oh my goodness. Oh, good. They went to her shower. I'm a little surprised. Aw, it's all foggy. That's sweet. Okay. Dude! <laughs> Dude! I do not understand. Like, not even a little bit. Alright, let's try again, Ren. Same. Come on. Oh my god, no! What the heck? That's... That is so depressing. I don't understand. I guess we'll just try again later. What are you sad about? Unbearable sadness. Charlie longs to be in his bear form. Then be in your bear form, my dude. No one's stopping you. Good night. <laughs> 7 a.m. hot tubs. <laughs> That's cute. You're tired? Are you tired? Are you tired? Are you tired? Shoot, you have to go to school soon. Let's get you up. Um, come and sleep for a little bit. All right, Ren is now handing us level seven, so she should be able to upgrade the fridge and the stove, which is great. Max, we're gonna have to empty out your inventory before you <laughs> pass away. So let's come on over here to your little... Aww. This is the picture I chose for Olive, by the way. Um... All right, what do we want to put on your stump? You know what, Moose died when we weren't in the house, so I, we don't have his little urn thing. That makes me so sad. Wait, who's is it? Who's this? Oh, here he is. Okay, perfect. Huh, that works out. So we'll put his sim right here. Let's give these wellness treats to Olive. Olive, go to school, or go to work. Uh, this, oh uh, wait, hold on. We'll give the air, Buds. Well, we can't do anything with those. Cool. Why is there an onion in your inventory? And grapes. Ooh, a cow plant berry? Let's give that to Ren. You've got a potato. You got bluebells. You don't need any of this stuff. Okay. Your inventory is cleared out. What else should we put on his little thing? Oh, let's put this picture of him and Alexander. Definitely. I don't know what else. I don't know, we'll figure it out in a bit, but I cleared out his inventory. That's all that really matters. Um, what are you doing? Chat with Ren? That's fine, you can do that, old boy. Why don't you call Alexander, just have a chat with him. Just tie up your loose ends, you know? Call Oliver. Send him a happy text. Uh, April. Why don't you invite her over, actually? Oh, Dorian aged up. We gotta edit that. Um, send Max Jr. a text as well. Just say goodbye to everyone. Hi, April. This is her elderly makeover. She looks pretty much the same, just a little bit older. She's instantly feeling flirty. Oh my god! No! That was the last thing he did. Aww. Who are you? April 
Not everyone is here. Shoo, Olive and Charlie aren't here. Ren, get up. Play a sim from birth to natural death. Wow. Ren, do you not care? Bye, Max. Wow, people really did not react the way that I uh, expected, but... Uh... Alright, let's add him to the graveyard. Poor, poor Max. doing Grim oh my god he came to mourn Max <laughs> it's okay let's ask Grim to sw uh, swing with us look Grim <laughs> that doesn't make any sense the Grim Reaper has the good trait I mean okay sure why not this is big vibes Y'all should sit together. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Aww. She's like, it's okay. You didn't even know him. <laughs> the best thing about what I do is the good work-life death battle. <laughs> oh! <gasps> They're flirting. Oh my god, should she have a freaking baby with Grim? Talk about no strings attached, am I right? Bye, April. Your time is coming soon as well. Oh my god, you guys. Ren, your brother just died. I guess that's a way to try to get over it. Oh, Olive. Okay. Um, why don't you come on over here and mourn your father since you weren't here when he died? Oh, I'm so sad, guys. Max was my favorite. I know he did some pretty messed up things in his life, but. Oh, no. I still liked him a lot. So. I don't know, should we try to have a baby with Grim? Or are you dipping? Are you leaving? No, you're gonna go swing? Oh, how cute are you? This just <laughs> is so silly, isn't it? I don't know, Grim Reaper doesn't seem like someone who would like to swing. <gasps> Are you going? Okay, bye. There are no Denzians in the pond. What are you talking about? I tried to feed them and it says there's nothing in there. Yeah, that's really weird. What are you up to, little bear? You do your homework? Do your homework. When do you age up? Whose birthday is next? Oh, it's not for a while. Air day is almost coming up. Oh, we need to add a thing for Max. So 
We can either be mischievous or be romantic. I think probably be mischievous would be best mischief spirit, perhaps? Because not everyone can participate in the romance one if we do that. Okay, so we got Gardening for Savannah, Mischief Spirit for Max, and then Ren, you need to write Max a song on the organ to remember. Oh, look who it is! To memorialize him. Go ahead and invite her in, and then I need you to write... Um, let's do the last love song. This is that one girl that Ren met, the vendor chick that she was having a water balloon fight with. <laughs> How's this song sound? What's he saying? That's a beautiful song, Ren. Also, look at this painting that Olive painted of Max. Isn't that so cute? I'm gonna leave it there for a while. <laughs> we could pretend it was from his funeral. She's almost done writing the song! Ollie, why don't you come over here and introduce your yourself to this girl so that you can talk to her about your outfit? I think that's what you need to do for work, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, this needs to be evolved. This needs to be evolved. Okay, did you introduce yourself? Okay, great. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Compliment style. Oh my god, they're already hugging. You guys just met. Ooh. For Max. Perfect. Wait, she can send off her songs now? Oh my gosh, you can. For Let's license them both. Cool, look for royalty payments to start soon. That's rad. Okay, what do we get in here? A robot toy? Okay. Um, what skill should we work on for you? Let's do your comedy skill. Let's just max that really quick. So come to the computer. Um, comedy, write jokes. Oh my god, Charlie. Your obsession with this wagon is really freaking me out. Do your extra credit. You're focused, so that should help you. You can go now. Are you, really? You're just like leaving plates all over our lot? I don't like you at all. Look who's calling Ren. He just wants to- Ooh, a date? Why not? <laughs> I've flirted with the Grim Reaper in The Sims before, but I've never like actually pursued a relationship with him or like had kids with him or anything like that. Oh man, I think he really likes us. Oh, she's super thirsty. I wonder... Did he just dip on us? Did he? Oh my god, I think he did. Why would he invite us on a date and then leave? Alright, well while we're here, let's get a Plasma Jane. Because our thirst is pretty low. Hi, can I get a plasma, Jane? Hey, there's a chick from the uh, university trailer. I can't believe Grim asked us out and then left. I'm not pleased. Whoa, hold the phone. Who is that? Who are you? Isabel De, De, La, Tor De La Torre? I'm not sure if that's someone that one of you guys made, but let's introduce ourselves anyway. Why not? Hi, I'm Ren. I love the polite introduction thing. It makes them friends like right off the bat. Oh my god, someone was streaking! <laughs> wow. She's a genius? That's pretty good. She's got to be a vampire. I mean, a mermaid. I mean, look at her. Share mermaid discovery? No, 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 let's not. She's active. Okay, she left. Well, we made a good friend today, and uh, Rand isn't feeling as sad as she was, so that's good. I can't believe Grim just, like, dipped, though. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> I do want to try again with Silas, though. Like, super bad, so I think I'm gonna try that right now. If they can't get... 
If they can't have a baby again, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna assume that Ren can't have kids because three times and still nothing. All right, there he is. <sighs> okay, let's try it one more time. Come on, girl. Let's get this baby. Let's get it. I know you can do it. Okay, guys, I had them woohoo in a regular bed. Let's take a pregnancy test and see if that changes anything. Cute. Come on, Ren. I know you can do it. Or does she have to get pregnant by a vamp? No, 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 that doesn't make any sense. You guys, what's going on? I don't understand. Is it because he's a ghost? Hmm. I'm sad. There she goes, swinging again. I think Olive needs a friend that's like a girl. Who, I mean, she had Christy. Christy and Simone. Uh, who else does she know? Jules. I think probably tomorrow we can invite over Dorian so that I can give him a proper makeover and we can spend some time with him. Trying again. Look at she's sad from failing to conceive. I'm so sorry, love. I wish there was something I could do. If you're not gonna get pregnant again, I don't think it's possible with Silas. It's not. I feel so bad for getting her hopes up like that. <sighs> Come and hibernate. Hibernate the pain away. Nelly. All right, Olive, when do you have work next? Three days and your social's pretty low. So why don't we hang out? Why don't you throw a party? Why not? 8 a.m. on a Sunday. Plan a social event. Let's have a house party. Perhaps we should move the stereo out here for now. You need to be a <laughs> young adult. <laughs> There we go. All right, cool. Now you guys are the same age. Thank her for coming. What's up, girl? How are you? Help fix bad relationship? Why does everyone have a bad relationship with Zach? Her and Orange both do. Let's decide her life as well so she has uh, some some substance to her. Um, let's see, how do we do this again? Criticize style, don't do that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, your enemy's here. Watch out. <laughs> um, decide Christy's life. There we go. And this is Simone. Is she also a teen? Girl, I put on auto age. Why is nobody aging up? Why does it feel like there's no lights in here? First, it was like too bright and now it's not bright enough. Okay, hang on. Let me see. Let me see. I'm confused. Yay, we got some royalty report for the song. That's dope. All right, you need to be aged up as well. Oh, what's going on in here? <gasps> okay, Orange. Um, Olive, I'm going to need you to come in here. I'm going to need you to... Let's see here. Where's the help fix bad relationship? There, help fix bad relationship with Zach. Come on, come in here. She's like, hey, listen, I just heard you guys fighting. You really need to squash this. I don't know what happened between you two, but let it go. Aww. Did they let it go? I hope so. Oh, oh, here's Dorian. <gasps> Oh my gosh, okay, let's check him out in Create a Sim. <laughs> he has had the chubbiest little cheeks I've ever seen. All right, Alex, cool. Let's have a look at your son. Your and Zara's son. 
I mean, he's not awful looking. Definitely not. He got Alex's eyes. He should have black hair. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> oh. I don't know what hair to give him. Oh, this one looks pretty good. Actually, I never use this hair. Okay, let's use that one. Let's get- he got Zara's nose, definitely. Let's give him her skin detail. I can see both of them. Oh my god, he got the cat lover traits! Aww, he got that from Zara! I didn't even choose that. That is so cute. Okay guys, here is Dorian, all aged up. I think he looks pretty cute. Um, so I think when Alex passes away, um, a lot of you guys were saying that you wanted him, or you wanted someone in the family to adopt him, and I think that the perfect people to do that would be Oliver and Zach. So I'm gonna move Alex and Dorian back into the goth household with um, Alex's family, so that when... <laughs> Stop with that notification, there's nothing in there. <laughs> so that when um, Alex does die, he doesn't go into like the adoption system, he'll still be in that household, and then I'll just transfer him later after that. And I assume Mortimer and Bella have already passed away, so there aren't- there isn't gonna be any issues with that. Um, like any custody issues or anything. <laughs> oh, Ren. Oh, Ren. Look at this drink right here. It's like bubbling. What is it? Fruity fizzy drink. Makes sense. Bruh. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. So, um, yeah, it's air day. So there needs to be a little bit of mischief going on. You little butthole. How dare you? Come and trick him with a hand buzzer. Come and um, sh tell him that hymns can't make um, a mess on your house. In your house. Come on. Uncle! What? That is so weird, you guys. This kid is Charlie's uncle. I'm a little bit shook at the moment. Oh, look, here's Jules. She's having a chat with Zach. Is she still a teen? Yeah, she is. Okay, let's change that. I'm getting Olive to do her mischief interactions, and she also needs to do some gardening, too. There you go. You got it, girl. <laughs> I think everyone's heading out now, which is fine. Um, did everyone do what they needed to do for air day? You're good. You're good. You're good as well. Okay, great. Great, and you're about to pass out, so why don't you head on to bed? Ren is sad drunk. Oh, angry drunk. Oh, no. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, your comedy is almost maxed so if you could just work on that so we can max that that would be great i'm honestly so excited for her to max every skill it's really gonna help us in this challenge it's almost charlie's birthday really two days how exciting oh my gosh i can't wait for him to be a teen those years are so freaking exciting. And he's over here viewing this cart again. Oh my god. Okay, so I think him and Dorian should be really, really close friends. And then... Who else? Who else does he know? Lucas, Olivia, Billy, Kingston, Olivia, Kim, Lewis, Billy, Jang, Kingston, Ward. Let's, um, let's invite him over. Let's see what he's all about. Let's give him a little edit as well. Oh my god, it's Judith's kid! <gasps> oh! <laughs> okay, she married Gabriel, which is Gabriella's gender bend, and they had these two babies. Holy crap, I'm dead. I'm dead. And he's a twin. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, alright, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. And he's untalented. 
What about the other kid? Waterproof. Okay, so this kid is gonna be famous. Interesting. Maybe. Okay, I think that would be so funny if him and... Hold on, let me gather my thoughts here. Him and Charlie become best friends, okay? And then they can grow up. Since he's already gonna be famous, like, that'll give Charlie a leg up on his, like, YouTube. They could be, like, those those um people on YouTube where, like, them and their best friends are famous and they just do vlogs and they go around doing stupid things. I like that. I like that a lot. So this guy's definitely gonna be our best friend since he's gonna be super famous. Okay, so let's get that relationship up with them. Where is he? All right, come on over here. Um, invite Kingston to play. Cute! Aww! Well, that's just adorable, isn't it? Monkey bar playtimes. Hey, where are you going? Don't leave us. Enthuse about it. Oh, you're gonna go make a mess? Oof! You little. She's about to max her comedy skill. I can't believe it! She can now improvise routines at a microphone. Okay, what skill is next? Handiness. Okay, sure. Um, let's get her to... Oh wait! She can upgrade the fridge and stuff now. Hopefully we have enough common upgrade parts. Oh, look who it is. Hi, Max. He's feeling inspired, so what do we need? One kitchen upgrade part? How do we get that? Do we do it on the computer, I wonder? Yes, purchase upgrade parts, that's amazing. Okay, let's get a few of these, a few of these, a few of these, a few of these. <laughs> Bam, okay, let's try it now. Uh, upgrade, oh my god, we can. Come on, Ren. Time to get that fridge done. Max just came and made pancakes. What a sweet boy. Olive, what are you doing? Chatting, okay, sure. What do you need to do for your job, though? I really don't know how to do this gather impressions thing. Um... Is it on this, perhaps? Let's see. Um, quick sketch impression. Yay! The fridge is fully upgraded! We did it! We did it. We did it. Now it's time to do the this one. What do we need? There we go. There we go. Can you- Yes, add impression. Do it. Fruit cobbler made by Max Camp. When did Max make fruit cobbler? Oh my goodness, how yummy. Charlie's skills are progressing so much, it's insane. Like look, he's already maxed his creativity, he's maxed his mental, he's almost maxed his social. Yay, good job, Ren. Okay, on to the next one. Heat sensor, we need one kitchen upgrade part. No problem. Let's just order it. It's annoying, Olive has level... For photography, but it's not registering on her little um, work thing. That's so annoying. What did you do with that tablet? Let's do another quick sketch impression. Ooh, Ren is now handyless level 9. Ren can now perform advanced upgrades on electronic objects. She can also craft tubs in the woodworking table. Bomb. Ooh, and we got mail. Ooh, and bills. Ooh, gross. <laughs> um, ugh. Hate bills. Good thing. Oh my god! When did we get this much money? Holy crap. All right. The stove is now fully upgraded, and so is the fridge. Bomb, bomb, bomb. We got that done, so we can check that off now. <laughs> I actually downloaded this um, Legacy Challenge Scorekeeper by... Who's this by? Nerdy Bunny Designs. It's like 25 pages, and it has like little areas for each sim. Can you guys see that? Probably not, because it's like a little circle on the screen right now. 
but you can keep track of everyone's skills, their aspirations, all that good stuff. And then there's the rules on here. Okay, yeah, there's like all the point stuff as well. We need 3,500,000, no, $5,700,000 to get all 10 points for the money thing. Dang. We're gonna need to do something else to get more money. But what? Do we need more alien plants? <laughs> Or do we need to focus on, like, harvesting them as soon as they're ready to be harvested? Because I know that we're not always on top of it. What's up, Ren? One of my friends heard about how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Sure. Why not? And also, Ren, I think you have some fertilizer. So why don't you fertilize these, like, really good plants with the, let's see here, large pet poops. Oh, who's this? Who came to visit? Is this Billy? It is! Let's invite her in. What's up, girl? I love her. Some of you guys were saying since um, I want her to have a baby, but I want her to also have a girlfriend. Uh-oh. Floating Capri Sun salad. Um, that I could make Billy be able to, like, get others pregnant. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? I kind of want her to get with a supernatural, though. You know what would be cool? If she was a spellcaster. I'm gonna make her one. Olive, why are you eating that? Stop! It's obviously spoiled! Bruh, what is wrong with you? You guys. I just made Olive introduce herself and give her a few compliments and look at their relationship bar. That is insane. Olive is just super charismatic, I guess. <laughs> Charlie, yo! You're really starting to piss me off with that, not gonna lie. Kingston is inviting us to the park. Let's go. I don't think I've ever had a kid invite another kid somewhere, have you? Pupperstone Park. Yay! What's up, dude? Talk about toys. Ask about day. Let's max your social skill while we're here. All right, there we go. He maxed his social skill. Beautiful. Um, is there anything? Oh yeah, you guys can come play on this. Slide the plank. Sure. Aw, how cute is that? Play pirate. Oh, you know what else we need to do? We need to get Charlie a dog. And I think we're gonna get him a small dog this time around. Since we've had big dogs in the past. All right, I'm having Ren work on her handiness. She's almost maxed it, which is great. Um, what's next? That's crazy how fast her skills go up at night. Like, I can't even believe it. Um, ooh, let's pay the bills. Um, and then, let's see here, let's troll the forums. So what can you do with level 10? Rare parts from salvage and can craft toilets at the woodworking table. She can also upgrade kitchen objects twice as fast as before and mentor other, other sims in handiness. Cool. Oh no, April died. Oh my gosh, so what happened to Max Jr.? Okay, good. He's a young adult now, so... I guess he's just living on his own. That's insane. Poor April. Rest in peace, girl. <sighs> so since... She can't get pregnant from Silas... I don't know. It's like, I've been trying to think of who else I would like her to get pregnant by, but like... I don't feel like anyone is good enough, so... Should we go, like, the artificial insemination route? Because I can always make her pregnant through, um, MC Command Center. And we can just pretend that she got artificially inseminated. I mean... Yeah. I don't see why we couldn't. I tried to get a mod for it, but it wasn't... It doesn't work. So... We can just pretend, and when it asks to uh, put input a father, I don't know. I mean, should I like find a guy from the gallery and we can just like, 
I don't, or we just don't even put a father's genes. Because it can just be her genes. And I wonder if the baby would be a vampire. I was going to have a Halloween party since it's Halloween today. But there's a storm and I don't want anyone to die. <laughs> look at how cute the decorations look on the lot. Aww. So cute. I don't know. Should we have a party anyway? Yes, who's calling? Julian McMillan. Who's that? Oh, oh, that guy. <laughs> well, isn't that just very sad? All right, let's um, let's get you to put on a costume. Why don't you wear a costume as well? Sausage. What the? Wait, what? That ain't no sausage. Oh, and I forgot it's Charlie's birthday. So we definitely need to have a party. All right, Olive, just sleep a little bit more. And then let's see here. Plan a social event again. <laughs> um, we always want to plan a social event on a holiday so that we don't get a uh, medal. It's kind of annoying. All right, time to get up. You slept. You slept. You're good. Let's do... Uh... Spooky party, yes. Nice. Okay, I need you to come over here and cook a zombie cake. Where is it? Zombie cake. Would you choose? A witch? Classic. I'm gonna put up some of these decorations. Um, let's see here. Let's put one of these right here. Let's add... Let's put a pumpkin out the front. Ren, uh, can you come? Oh, your costume's awesome. Come and cook some of those eyeball things. Um, cheese eyeballs. Uh-oh. Double costume. All right, let's see what we got. Looks like Oliver is a pilot. Um, is this Zach? Oh, Tane is a... Uh, the resistance thing from Star Wars. There's another Star Wars lady. Darth Maul, an astronaut. A llama superhero thing. Another witch. We got um, Scorpion. Oh my god, that costume's adorable! Dorian, you freaking win. You win the costume contest. That is so cute. Jules is just out there getting her workout on. That's fine. Where are you? Why are you... I love that everyone's just walking around in their costumes. It's fun. It's so fun. All right. We got spooky cookies. Eat up, everybody. Um, Where are those cheese eyeballs that I told you to make? Of course you didn't make them. Of course. All right, cool. I'm going to go ahead and put the cake here. And I think... He should be able to blow out his candles. No, you can't. It has to be on a counter. Err, that's annoying. Okay. All right. Come make a wish! I don't even know where you are. Oh, you're playing horseshoes? That's cute. Look at everyone in their costumes! It's so lit that everyone's dressed up. You might not want to eat that. Who even are you? Baka? Who invited you? We hate you. Or you're like Olive's enemy or something. Okay, here we go. Happy birthday! Yay! You've had the littest party out of anyone in this family. Oh! I'm freaking... Sh I am, um, uh... Wow, that was, that was... That was scarring. Okay. All right. I input their traits. Um, Olive is cheerful, a geek, and paranoid. Orange is outgoing, loves outdoors, and is jealous. And his child trait is lazy. Okay. Let's see what his life aspiration is going to be. And let's see what his last trait is. Or his second trait, I mean. 
Cheerful and big, happy family. Well, that's cute, isn't it? Okay, this family is very, very, very family oriented. Big, happy family. There you go. Oh my gosh, look at you. Wow, okay, let's have a look at you and create a sim. I'm so excited. You had such a big party! And it was so cool that everyone was in costume. Oof, yeah, I am not feeling this outfit. Not one bit. Let's see. You definitely look like orange. Oh no, he got orange's nose! You look nothing like Olive. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh well. Okay, guys, this is what I came up with for Charlie. Um, it's very laid back, very comfortable, but also pretty stylish. I thought this hat was perfect because his name's Charlie Campos CC. So yeah, this is him. I gave him long hair. Probably too lazy to cut it. I gave him some stubble. Probably too lazy to shave. <laughs> so yeah, this is Charlie. I hope you guys like him. This party is so lit. Yay, Halloween was six- Oh no, Olive didn't have fun though. Oh no, why not? You poor dear. I'm surprised people weren't hooking up left and right in our beds. <laughs> Alright, thanks for coming everybody. Really appreciate it. Look, people are just stomping all over our work tablet. Rude. Okay, guys, the next birthday we have is Olive. Um, I think once she becomes an adult, we can focus more on her love life. Oh, look, Moose is here. Olive, come say hi. So yeah, we'll focus more on her love life and how she's going to end up and all that good stuff. I can't believe Max is gone. I can't believe it's just them three. I really want Ren to get pregnant again. We need a new baby in this household. I just don't know how I want to do it yet. So you guys are going to have to let me know in the comments below what you would like to see happen with Ren and her baby. If we should artificially inseminate her. If we should get pregnant by one of the sims she already knows. Let me know what you think, because I'm having such a hard time deciding. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!